Hello there, adventurers. Welcome to another exciting episode on Digital Nomad. We're your go-to guide for all things nomadic, and today we're delving into something that combines both sustainability and frugality. That's right, we're discussing eco-conscious practices that not only help save our beautiful planet, but also your hard-earned money. If you're ready to explore the world in a more sustainable and budget-friendly way, then stick around. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our nomadic journeys. Being a nomad doesn't mean you can't be eco-conscious. In fact, it can even save you money. So let's dive into some of these eco-conscious practices that are not only kind to Mother Earth, but also kind to your pocket. Firstly, the principle of reduce, reuse, recycle is not just a catchy phrase, it's a way of life for the eco-conscious nomad. Reduce your consumption by only buying what you need. This means less waste and less money spent. Reuse items as much as possible. A simple water bottle can save you from buying countless plastic ones, which is not only harmful to the environment, but also to your budget. And lastly, recycle. If you can't reduce or reuse, ensure your waste finds its way to a recycling facility. Secondly, consider harnessing the power of the sun. Solar power is a clean, renewable energy source that's perfect for the life of a nomad. Solar panels can be a bit of an investment up front, but they pay for themselves in the long run by reducing or even eliminating your need for grid electricity. Thirdly, water is a precious resource, especially when you're on the road. Minimize water usage by taking quick showers, reusing cooking water for cleaning, and always turning off the tap when it's not in use. This not only conserves water, but also cuts down on your water bill. Lastly, consider investing in eco-friendly products. Yes, they might cost a bit more up front, but they tend to last longer and are less harmful to the environment. Plus, many of these products come with their own cost savings. For instance, a reusable coffee filter can save you the recurring cost of disposable ones. As you can see, these practices not only benefit the environment but also your wallet. It's a win-win situation, so why not give it a try and see how much you could save while also doing your part for the planet. Before we move on to the next point, here's a quick reminder to subscribe to Digital Nomad if you're enjoying this video. We've got plenty more tips and tricks to help you live your best nomadic life, sustainably and economically. Now let's talk about how you can enjoy the great outdoors without overspending. Many of us are drawn to the allure of nature's calling. The crisp air, the rustling leaves, the stunning landscapes. They all offer a sense of freedom and tranquility. But it's crucial to remember that while we're guests in these wild spaces, we have a responsibility to treat them with care. One of the best ways to savor the outdoors responsibly is to camp in designated areas. These spots are specifically chosen because they can withstand human activity without causing significant damage to the surrounding environment. Plus, they often come with amenities like fire pits and restrooms, saving you the cost of bringing your own gear. Next, let's discuss the principle of leave no trace. This involves taking everything you brought into the wilderness back out with you. It might seem like a hassle, but it prevents littering, protects wildlife, and preserves the natural beauty for future visitors. Plus, by packing your own food and water, you're not only reducing waste, but also saving money that would otherwise be spent on overpriced convenience store snacks. Respecting wildlife is another key aspect of responsible outdoor enjoyment. Keep a safe distance and avoid feeding animals. Not only does this protect you and the animal, but it also prevents changes in their natural behavior that could lead to negative consequences. And remember, the best souvenirs are memories and photos, not feathers or flowers picked from their habitats. Finally, instead of relying on big chain stores for your food and supplies, why not explore local markets? You're likely to find fresher, cheaper and more unique options. Plus, you're supporting local economies, which is a win-win for everyone. By following these practices, you're not only saving money but also contributing to the preservation of the environment. This way, we can all continue to enjoy the beauty of the great outdoors for generations to come. Remember, the goal is to create memorable experiences without causing harm to our planet or our pockets. Before we wrap up, 
here's your last chance to hit that subscribe button if you found this video helpful. Well folks, that's all for today's episode. We've journeyed through eco-conscious practices such as reducing waste and conserving resources, and we've explored how to enjoy the great outdoors responsibly. I hope these tips inspire you to implement these practices in your nomadic lifestyle. Remember, every small step counts when it comes to saving our planet. Thank you for being a part of this journey. And don't forget, being a responsible nomad doesn't have to be expensive. See you in the next episode of Digital Nomad. Until then, keep exploring and save the planet one step at a time.